Heavy showers in the city have resulted in flash floods in large areas. Heavy rains, which lasted almost an hour earlier today, resulted in heavy flooding in several parts of Guwahati. Heavy flooding was witnessed in areas such as Srimanta Hongkordev Road, Hatigao and Zoo Road, which put commuters at great discomfort. The heavy flooding also led to packed traffic jams across the city at various prominent roads. And heavy flooding was also witnessed at Sonapur and Jorabat, close to Guwahati, as scores of vehicles were stranded from both sides. Several vehicles also submerged were also submerged as the heavy rains led to flash flood waters rising. So these are the visuals coming in from Guwahati earlier this evening, viewers. And following the heavy showers today, heavy traffic snarls are being witnessed in various parts of the city. Heavy jams consisting of lone lines of vehicles was witnessed at the Jorabat Sonapur Road. Then, long lines of vehicles were witnessed at the arterial Srimanto Hongkordev Road in Guwahati. Localities of Guwahati, such as Zoo Road, Downtown, Chanmari, among others, saw long lines of traffic amidst the heavy flooding. Yes, so these are the visuals from earlier this evening. As I was saying, viewers, long lines of traffic snarls could be witnessed as soon as the, the, the heavens opened up. And that's something that is continuing even now as we speak. Heavy traffic jams, log jams have been reported from various prominent parts of Guwahati city. These are the visuals coming in from one of the prime locations of Guwahati, GS Road. Uh, so as you can clearly make out, there is heavy traffic jam causing great woes for the commuters. My colleague Arindam Das joins us live from Guwahati at this point in time for more updates. So Arindam, what is the situation as of now? And uh, you know, isn't this something that we get to see every time there is a heavy downpour in Guwahati? No sooner uh, does the downpour happen, the, the, the streets become flooded and there is absolute traffic jams in most of the, most of the prominent locations, Arindam. Yes, uh, Ronak, just uh, one and a half hour of heavy downpour and the entire city of Guwahati has been thrown haywire. We are right now on the middle of uh, GS Road at Christian Basti and this area was uh, flooded uh, with uh, rainwater just uh, uh, half an hour back. Right now the flood waters have receded, the flood has subsided but the bigger problem right now is the traffic jam that the flood has created in the entire city of Guwahati. So this is the scenario of uh, GS Road. We are standing on the middle of the GS Road and this is the big queue of vehicles that are lined up in, on the GS Road. There are thousands and thousands of vehicles and the biggest problem is that uh, this downpour came at an odd hour when it was a time for the closure of the offices, the closure of the schools and colleges, uh, when everyone was preparing to go to their homes when this heavy downpour came and it was initially the flash floods uh, and uh, this GS road it was uh, almost uh, the footpaths were also under water but right now the flood waters have subsided but uh, the bigger problem right now is the traffic jam you can see that this is the big uh, queue of uh, vehicles not only the four wheelers or the three wheelers it's also the two wheelers who are lining up to get through this traffic jam and get to their respective destination and we have been able to talk to few of the commuters as to how long this line extends they have told us that the gs road starts the initial point of gs road starts at Paldan boza so they have told us that uh, the commuters have told us that the traffic jam this long queue of vehicles it starts from Paldan boza and that is the point it is ganesh guri so entire streets five to six kilometer stretch of road it's full of vehicles right now in even be beyond that point we have been told that there is heavy traffic jam in fact the problem is coupled with the flash flooding in sonapur area because there also the rain waters have gushed down from the hills and it has completely flooded the national highway there and there also the traffic has been thrown haywire and this is the scenario on GS Road and you can see that these are thousands of vehicles stuck in traffic jam. It's bumper to bumper traffic, not only the four wheelers or the three wheelers, it's the two wheelers also you can see they are trying to make their way out through this huge traffic jam. Right. And 
nobody knows when this uh, big traffic jam will subside because uh, as i have mentioned that the rain came at the odd hour when the office were cl getting closed schools were getting closed and colleges getting closed and pe people are preparing to go to their homes when they were stuck initially by the rain and the flood and right now by this huge traffic jam which uh, nobody knows when it will end maybe till midnight Right, right, absolutely. We can clearly see, you know, this is a, a almost static traffic. You know, the cars are moving at an almost snail pace. But Arindam, you know, that's not the only concern, is it? You know, uh, just an uh, for just an hour of uh, showers, and we've already come to uh, we've already gotten reports that several locations in Guwahati have also been submerged in almost knee deep fl flood waters. Knee deep flood waters, isn't it, Arindam? That's right, Ronak. Uh, the place where we are standing right now, Christian Basti uh, on GS Road, and this place, uh, right now you can see that uh, the road is uh, clear. There is no rain water or flood water on the road. But just uh, one hour back or 45 minutes back, uh, there was uh, knee deep water on this road, and the water was up to the footpath. The footpath were also submerged, and people were having tough time even to go by the footpath and right now the flood waters have subsided but the bigger problem as i have said is the traffic jam that this flash flood has created in the city of guwahati and as you know that there are multiple locations in guwahati which are known for flash flooding when there is an hour or two hour of heavy downpour there are many locations like the chanmari jew road area the ganesh guri area the christian basti area and the gs road the jew road and every other location, Hatigaon or other location, where uh, an hour or two hours of heavy rain, it causes uh, flash floods and uh, the roads go underneath the uh, water. So right now, as I've said, that the flood waters have subsided, uh, but the bigger problem right now is the traffic jam, which this flood has created. And as I have said, this is the busiest road. This is the GS road, and we have asked the commuters from where they have been queuing in this long traffic jam, they said this is the Christian Basti point. They said that the traffic jam or this long queue of vehicles have in fact started from Paltan Bazaar area and it extends beyond the Ganesh Guri area. So you can imagine long five to six kilometer stretch of road. Right now, thousands of vehicles are stranded and people are somehow wanting to go to their homes and they don't know when they will be going to their homes and uh, looking at this uh, pace with which the traffic is moving we can say that uh, not before 10 p.m that this uh, traffic jam is going to subside and people will be able to reach to their respective destinations to their homes and other destinations that they are headed to Ronak. Yes, it does seem like it's going to take a while for this traffic to ease out and that the people will be able to reach their respective destinations. You have to feel for these commuters, isn't it? Arindam Das, thank you very much for all those updates.